Thanks, guys. South Korea will be sending $6.9 million to North Korea. The humanitarian aid is being sent through the World Health Organization and, an, and is an attempt by South Korea to cool tensions with the North. More than 6 million people in North Korea are in need of food and aid, and one in three children are chronically malnourished. The decision to send aid has come weeks after the UN has urged the international community for more support. The last time South Korea offered aid to their neighbor was back in 2009. And London police have been authorized to fire plastic bullets during protests. Although police said they do not intend on using the bullets, they will use them if necessary. These bullets have never been used in Britain, but in the past they have been linked to deaths in Northern Ireland. The decision to okay the plastic bullets came after students' protests have gotten violent. And the effort to rescue over 2,000 tourists near Mount Everest continues. Hikers looking to make it to the top of Mount Everest became stranded near the small village of Luka in Nepal. Bad weather has kept the tourists from moving on, and now that supplies are limited, rescue helicopters were sent to pick up the group. Although stranded for six days, there have been no reports of injuries or deaths. And after centuries of neglect, a not-so-familiar painting has been identified with a popular artist. A painting of Jesus Christ has been identified as Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi. The painting is known to have been owned by English King Charles I before moving around to private collections. The current owner of the painting brought it to a New York art dealer who studied the work of art and identified it as a da Vinci. This painting joins a small collection of surviving works of art by da Vinci who lived and worked in Italy in the 15th century. Salvatore Mundi will be added to the Leonardo exhibition opening in London later this month. This is Colleen Nelson with World News.